everyone and welcome to this new tutorial on my channel. And in this video I will be showing you how to make this cute little Winnie the Pooh bear. This is such a fun project to make and when you attach a keychain to it, it can look really cute on your back or on your keys. And also it's a really fun gift to make for someone who really likes Winnie the Pooh of course. I hope you will like the video. If you like it, don't forget to give the thumbs up. That would help me a lot and let's get right into it. You'll need red, yellow and pink yarn. However, of the pink color, you only need two little strands for the cheeks. You'll need a crochet hook. I use a three millimeter hook. Scissors, a pair of safety eyes. These are six millimeter. A darning needle, some thinner black yarn. I use embroidery yarn, some stuffing and the stitch marker is optional. Okay, so first we're going to start at the top of the little Winnie the Pooh. So we'll grab our yellow yarn. And first we will be making a magic circle. If you're not entirely sure how to do this, I've got a separate video explaining how I always do it. And I will link that down below in the description. Okay, so for round one, we're going to do six single crochet into the magic circle. So go into the circle. Grab the yarn end, pull it through. Now you've got two loops on your hook. Grab the yarn once again and pull through both loops on your hook. That's your first single crochet. We'll do that five more times. Two, three, four, five and six. Like this. You can always count the V's on the side to count how many stitches you have. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, once you get six, you can close the circle. Like that, and that was it for round one. Now for round two, we're going to do six increases, and this will make us go up from a stitch count of six to a stitch count of 12. So let's find our first stitch. It's the one right here. It's always a bit tight, the first one. Like that. And do a single crochet. Now, because we're going to do an increase, we're going back into the same space and we will be doing another single crochet. Okay, we'll do this five more times. Okay, I've got 12 single crochet around now. And that was it for round two. Now I'm going to insert my um, stitch marker. You don't have to do this. You can also just keep on counting or use a little uh, piece of yarn in a different color and um, put it right where you would put the stitch marker as well. However, uh, I will just be showing you how to do it with a stitch marker for this tutorial. And now for round three, we're going to do one single crochet into the first stitch and do an increase into the second stitch. Do that all the way around. And because of this, you will be going up from a stitch count of 12 to a stitch count of 18. So let's first do it together. One in the first stitch and two in the second. One in the first and two in the second. Do this all the way around and I will meet you at the end of round three. Okay, I've just done my last increase and now we're going to round four. And for round four, we're going to do one single crochet to the first stitch, one into the second and two into the third. So because of this, we will be going up from a stitch count of 18 to a stitch count of 24. So let's do it together first. One in the first, one in the second, and do an increase in the third stitch. One in the first, 
one in a second and do an increase. Do this all the way around and I will meet you at the end of round four. Okay, I've just finished round four. And now for round five till round seven, you're just going to do one single crochet in each of those 24 stitches. So for a total of three rounds, you will be doing single crochets only. So I will meet you at the end of round seven. Okay, so I've just finished round seven. And now for round eight, we will be increasing our stitch count with three stitches and we will be doing that by first doing seven single crochet into the first seven stitches and then into the eighth stitch we're going to do an increase so let's do that once together so one two three four five six and seven and now here we're going to do an increase Okay, you will be doing this two more times and at the end of this round we're going to do the color switching part. So I will meet you right at the stitch before we land on the stitch marker. Okay, I'm now at the last stitch before the stitch marker. You can just do a single crochet and into the last stitch you should be putting an increase in there. So that's our last increase and now we're going to do the color switching part so this last stitch that we did is not the stitch where we will be putting our stitch marker uh, even more now for the color switching part I would advise you to not use the stitch mark for a while otherwise it might get confusing so I will just show you um, what you should do so to do the color switching part we will be doing one more single crochet and instead of finishing it, so just leave the two loops on your hook, we will be grabbing our red yarn and pull that one through the two loops on your hook instead of the yellow end. So like this. Now keep this one under your finger somewhere so that it uh, you can tighten it. And also you can tighten the stitch by pulling the yellow yarn end. And now to make the color switching part look a bit nicer, we will be doing a slip stitch into the next stitch. So if you're using a stitch marker, you can put it into the slip stitch. That's where um, we mark the ending of our round for now. Now for round nine to 11, we're just going to do one single crochet in each of those 27 stitches that we got around. So for three rounds, you will just be doing single crochet and I will meet you at the end of round 11. Okay, so I'm now at the end of round 11 and for the last stitch, we're again going to do the color switching part. So start it off as usual, like this, you got two loops on your hook and now instead of just finishing it, we will be grabbing our yellow yarn end once again, which is still attached to our work. And pull that one through the two loops on your hook. Like this. Now pull the red yarn end to tighten the stitch. And do a slip stitch into the next stitch. And the slip stitch will be the beginning of our next round like this. Now for the next two rounds, so for round 12 and 13, we will be doing one single crochet in each of those 27 stitches once again. However, now we're doing it with the yellow yarn. So once again, I will meet you at the end of round 13. And after round 13, we will be inserting the eyes. Okay, so I'm at the end of this round, I'm doing my last stitch. And also I have already cut off the red yarn end, 
uh, while doing the row and you can do that now as well okay now we will be inserting the eyes so let's see we will be doing that between round seven and eight so when you count from the top this is the first round this is the second one this is three four five six and in between round seven and eight is where we will be putting the eyes so grab your work count from the top this is one two three four five six seven so just choose one stitch there for the first eye and for the second eye that uh, will be inserted in the fifth hole going from the first eye so let me show you this is the stitch where we have put the first eye now this is the first hole next to the eye this is the second one this is the third this is hole four and into this one we will be putting the other eye like this so when you would be counting from the front there should be four holes in between the two eyes so one is here it's a bit close to the eye but it's there that's that's one two three and four like this now for the cheeks you will just grab the pink yarn and cut off two short ends so it doesn't need to be a precise length just something like this is okay and now for inserting that, I always um, insert the hook going from here. And just underneath the eyes, you will be um, inserting the pink yarn like this. So pull one end through. Now you got uh, it like this. Go one stitch to the right. And pull through the other end as well. And here is your first little cheek do that on the other side as well so one row beneath the eye insert your hook grab the pink yarn end pull it through go one stitch to the side and grab the other end as well so that's it now put your work inside out and make a double knot in the cheeks like this don't pull it too tightly just uh, a little strength but not too much okay now put the backs of the eyes on there so that they are secure like this now go to the other side and what I always like to do is to tie these two red ends together as well. I don't think you have to do this but it just feels a little more secure in my opinion. Okay that's it. Now put your work inside out once again. Put all the yarn ends in there. And that was it for the little face for now. Okay, so now for round 14, we will be doing one single crochet into the first stitch and do a decrease for stitch two and three. And because of this, we will be going from a stitch count of 27 to a stitch count of 18. So let's do it together, one in the first. And to do a decrease, I only grab the left loops of the little V, so only the outer loops. So grab the first outer loop, Keep that on your hook, grab the second outer loop and finish the decrease like this. Okay, let's do that one more time. One in the first and do a decrease for two and three. Like this. Okay, do that all the way around and I will meet you at the end of round 14. Okay, so I have just finished round 14 and now you can start your stuffing. 
like it's most practical to do most of it now but you can also do more uh, later but it's most practical to do most of it right now because after the next round the hole will be smaller and it will be a little more difficult to get the stuffing in there okay once you've done most of your stuffing we will be doing round 15 and for round 15 we will be doing nine decreases and because of this we're going from a stitch count of 18 to a stitch count of nine so just grab the outer loops the first two stitches and make a decrease like this do this all the way around and i will meet you at the end of round 15. okay once you're done with round 15 it's uh, practical to do all of your stuffing right now so grab more stuffing and because the hole is smaller i prefer to use scissors And just make sure that it's really to your liking how firm the uh, Pooh Bear uh, feels. And once you're happy with it, um, you know you've done enough stuffing. Okay, once you like how your Winnie the Pooh Bear feels like how firm it is we can start the closing and first we will be doing three more decreases to make the hole a bit smaller so that's one two and three now do a slip stitch in the next stitch and you can cut off the yarn. And now to close it entirely, what I always do is um, here is the stitch where our yarn end is coming out of, where we did the slip stitch. This is the one next to it, and this is one next to that one. Insert your hook here, let it come out of this one, grab the yarn end and pull it through. Now do that once more, so this is the next stitch. This is the stitch after that, go through it and grab the yarn end once again. Now to make the knot go into the same space as the yarn end is coming out of, come out the next stitch, grab the yarn end, make a loop and now instead of pulling this yarn end we will be pulling the other yarn end and because of that we can make the closing very tight. Like that. Now grab the yarn end and pull it through the loop. And as you can see, it ends up being really flat, like you don't get any weird bump or anything. And now for hiding the yarn end, I just insert my hook somewhere randomly. I come out of a stitch close to the yarn end and I pull it through the work. And then you can cut it off. There is some stuffing coming along you can just push it back in with your scissors and that was it for the body now for making the ears the arms and the little feet we're going to do the same thing six times so let me show you first you will be grabbing your yellow yarn and make a magic circle like this now insert only three single crochet so one two and three now we can already close the magic circle and don't do a slip stitch or anything in the first stitch just cut off the yarn leave some end to it Okay, pull it through and this is the first one 
you will be making five more of these so that you have a total of six and I will meet you when once you get six. Okay, once you get six, we will be attaching them to the body. And first, let's do the ears. So for the ears, the inner parts will be in between row two and three. And the other end will be one row below that. So between row three and four. And just put them in the middle of the head like this. So in between row two and three. So for example here, first insert your hook somewhere randomly, then come out of the stitch where you want the ear to be. So for example here, and grab one yarn end of the magic circle. Also something I always look out for is that I'm putting the right side of the magic circle to the front of the little Pooh Bear. So when you're looking at the magic circle that you made, this is the right side and you can still see the little V's around here as well. And this is the wrong side of your work. So that just looks a bit less neatly. I always make sure that this side is facing the front. So in order to get that, I will have to grab this yarn end, pull it through. Now move one stitch to the side, so go down one row. Okay, first insert your hook in the same hole as this yarn end is coming out of. And come out of the stitch where you want the other yarn end to be from the ear. So for example here, and let it come out there as well like this and you can always check on the front if you like the position and if you don't like the position you can just change it by uh, pulling it out and um, attaching the ear somewhere else so I like this position here so I will be moving to the other side so go somewhere randomly in between row two and three so let's see I think I want it to be mm. I think this is a good one or maybe the one to the back that's a difficult one <laughs> okay I will be going here and if I don't like it I just change it like this and then go one down so for example here And pull that one through as well. Like this. Check the front whether you like the position. I like this position so I will keep the ears like this. Now for the arms we will be grabbing two other magic circles that we made. And we will be putting that just between the first red row that we did and the second so in between here and what I always do is I look at the cheeks so here the cheek is stopping here this is the one hole below that stitch then I move one to the side and there that is where I will be inserting the little arm so go somewhere randomly come out of that stitch like this now grab one new yarn end and Pull it through like this. Now move one to the side, so here. And then it is attached like this. Now to the other side we will do the same thing. So go somewhere randomly. This is the stitch below the cheek, so move one to the side. And insert one end like this and move one to the side and insert the other as well like so you can check the front whether you like the position i like it so i'm keeping it this way now we will be attaching the feet and to attach the feet i always attach that between the first yellow round that we did after the uh, red little t-shirt so this round and 
one below that. So in between these two rows. And find the middle stitch of that uh, round. So in between this one and this one. And then the middle stitch. I think it's that one right there. And for attaching the feet. I always attach one to the uh, right of the middle stitch. So going from here and here. Here is our right foot going to be. And this is the middle stitch once again. And the left foot is going right there. So let's do that. This is the middle stitch. Now move one to the right. Like that. And attach one foot. Like that. Move one to the side and attach the other end. Okay, now go somewhere randomly once again. This is the middle stitch. Now move one to the left and attach the other foot. Like so. And again, if you don't like the position, you can still change it now. And now that we have attached everything and double check every position, whether you like how it looks. And if you like the way it looks, we can be uh, start securing them. And how I always do that is I just make double knots for the two strings. So for example, these two strings, I will just double knot them together. And make sure you do this very tightly. I give it quite a lot of strength because otherwise it might come loose and you don't want that. So really make it secure by putting it very tightly. And do that for all of the yarn ends coming out and I will meet you once again um, when everything is tied together. Okay, once you've tied everything together we can start just cutting off the uh, yarn ends like this and if it's still peeking out of your work after you've cut it off you can just push it into your work like if there is a little end peeking out I mean so you can check that you can also squish it and then it might just go back in there by itself Like this. Is it already? Yep, that looks good. So that's it for the base of the uh, little Pooh Bear. Now we will be making the little face. So for making the face, I mean making the nose and the eyebrows. And we will do that all at once. So grab your thinner black yarn. I use embroidery yarn. If you don't have embroidery yarn, you can also just use regular yarn. Um, however, um, I would advise you to untwist it in that case so that you get like a thinner strand of yarn. So let me show you an example. Here, if you have a, a yarn end, it exists of these little strands. And if you want it to be thinner, you can just unravel it like this and use half of the thickness of the yarn. So... Grab your black yarn end and the darning needle. And we will be um, attaching the nose in between round 7 and 8. So that's the same round where we have put the eyes. So that's right here. And we will only be covering one stitch with making the nose. So this was uh, the first hole that I talked about that was in between the two eyes. So this is hole 1. This is hole 2 three and four and for two and three is where we will be putting the nose so let's count that on this one so this is the first hole two three and four and for two and three is where we will start making the nose so just grab that one stitch and let your needle go through okay now keep this to the side and go back into the space, come out of here, 
once again. So that's the first little um, stripe of the notes. We will be doing that two more times. So this is two. And for three, we won't be coming out of this stitch, but we will be coming out of a stitch where we will be putting the uh, eyebrow. So we will be putting the eyebrow just um, two rows above the eye. So this is one row, this is the second one. And just make sure that it's um, not right here, but a little to the side like that. So for example, on here, we go two rows uh, above the eye. And for example, right here is a stitch, which is a little to the right, because if we would be putting it here, it would be to the left side of the eye. This is to the right side of the eye, like so. And now our little nose is finished because of that. Now for finishing the eyebrow, we move one row to the um, underneath the row uh, where our yarn ends coming out of. So uh, go somewhere here. This is too close to the eye. I go right there. And if we pull that through, our right eyebrow will be finished. However, uh, I already moved to the other side to start making the other eyebrow. So this is the first round above the eye. This is the second one. Okay, go somewhere there. And I chose to uh, come out of this stitch because, again, this one is bended to the middle part and this one is going to the left side, like this. Now move one row uh, underneath that and choose one stitch. So, for example, this one. And now go out somewhere randomly. So, for example, here. And that's your second eyebrow. So now the little face is finished and to secure it I go back into the same stitch as I came out of and go into the same hole as this first trend is coming out of. Like this. Okay, now you can cut off the other yarn end which was still attached to it. Okay, now you can just make a double knot. Make sure you don't pull it too tightly. Like this. And make one more. Like that. Now you can cut off the yarn ends. So there's just a little bit left and you can push that bit um, into your work like this. So that was it for the little Winnie the Pooh Bear. I hope it was all clear for you and that it worked out for you. And if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That would help me a lot. And also, if you still got any questions, you can comment them down below and I will respond to them as quickly as possible. So hopefully I will see you in the next video and thank you for watching. See you!